Hi everyone! Welcome to Perfectly Planned Content's Writing Wednesday video series, where we dive into the power of words and the many ways that writing can impact your business. I'm Lauren Keller, the Director of Content Writing and Strategy, and I'm so excited that we get to dive into a video series that's completely dedicated to the beauty of words. So over the next couple of months, I'm going to be taking the time to dissect what a stunning website is going to look like and give you tips for how you can do it yourself. So we're going to start off with the home page. And to me, the home page is like your brand's power outfit. It helps you feel really good and confident and sets the right tone for the rest of the website. So we're going to go through seven must-have elements that your homepage should include. So we'll get started. The first is who you serve. From about two or three seconds on your website, prospective clients or visitors should know exactly who you serve and why you do it. Make the first heading, or what is called the hero text, as direct and descriptive as possible. The magic number is usually somewhere between three to five words. As an example, on our website, we have authentic story-driven content marketing. So you can see exactly what we do and who we do it for. In a subheading underneath the hero text, you can get a little bit more descriptive. Maybe add an additional sentence that helps elevate the value and communicate the value that you bring to the table. Your strategy for these two different texts are really going to depend on your brand's tone, style, and audience. But the big takeaway here is to frame your ideal, frame the wording around your ideal client, because that is really going to set the tone that you want. The bonus thing that you can do is in this space, to help your client have an aspirational identity. So this is something that your audience can feel or assume after working with you. So that might be a modern advisor or a profitable writer, a fulfilled business owner, elements like that. So once you have the perfect hero text and you know that it communicates exactly what you want it to, you have to make sure that your audience has an action to follow. So number two is your primary and secondary call to actions. The first call to action, your primary one, is going to be the main action you want your audience to take. In most cases, that will be to book a call or schedule an appointment or complimentary consultation, things of that nature. And that should be in a place where your audience does not have to scroll to find that information, or as it would be in newspapers, above the fold. You can also put secondary CTAs as your audience scrolls down the page. And that will really be to keep them on your website for as long as possible. You might link to your services page, to a blog page, a free download section, there are a lot of different ways you can customize this, but make sure that your call to actions are clear and direct so that your audience is more likely to take the action you want them to. Once you do that, you're going to want your homepage to have a quick overview of the services you provide. And this should not be comprehensive. It should be a snapshot of what it is that you do. So maybe you have three or four different service offerings that you outline, or maybe you highlight some of the key features that make your service offerings stand out for your audience. So that was really going to depend on the type of service or product that you have and your audience, but it is good on your homepage to ensure that your visitors know what you do. Once you have that, you will want to make sure that you have a free content offer. This is really big because it helps people stay on your website, which is going to decrease your bounce rate. Your bounce rate is essentially how long someone stays on your site and the number of pages they visit while they're there. So you don't want them to come onto your homepage and then automatically bounce away from your site 
you want them to stay on the website and engage a little longer. And a free content offer is an excellent way to do that. You might link to a relevant blog post. Maybe you have a lead magnet or other lead generation material like a quiz or an e-course or a video series to help them stay more engaged. And that is a really good representation of your brand. So once you do that, you're going to move on to having trust and success indicators. This is really important because your website is the first impression that a prospective client or visitor will have. And they want to make sure that they can trust that you are the perfect person to do business with. So these trust indicators are really important. And there are a few different ways you can do it. One is to use client testimonials. Um, that's a really great way to show that people are engaged in your service and you can highlight amazing success stories. You can also use reviews. Now that financial advisors are able to use reviews, it's a really excellent way to drive more people to the site organically. Now be sure that you do this. And number six, we have simple navigation. You have a lot to say. Your business is not one dimensional. There are a lot of things that you're offering, but your website should be very, very simple. You don't want your audience to be confused on where to go to find the information that they need. Your services should be very clearly outlined. Your about the firm section should be very clearly outlined. If you have too many tabs for people to choose from or too many drop downs, that can clutter the experience and actually make your website users bounce away because they aren't sure how to find the information that they need. So make sure that you prioritize simple, clear navigation. If you aren't sure if something is working, maybe you ask a friend or a family member to go onto your website and give them a task. See if they can find your services and say what they are. If they can't within about five seconds, that might mean that you need to simplify your language or think more about where you want to put different things. And lastly, your homepage should have on-brand design. There's going to be a lot of pictures and maybe images, maybe movement on the site that's going to bring the entire package together. Beautiful copy only goes so far. You do need to have a beautiful design to match all of the really hard work that you're doing with your copy. The last thing before I leave you is giving you an idea of the types of words that you can use to make all this copy happen. So be sure that you are doing your keyword research, the target long tail, short tail, and local keywords to make sure that your website is as optimized as possible. Try to focus on phrases that your audience uses to search your brand or product, such as financial advisor near me or financial advisor in Durham, North Carolina. And be sure that with every word you use, it's really indicative of your brand's tone and style. This is a ton of information that we just threw at you with the homepage. The homepage is just so important. Now, I'm excited to see what you implement. Let me know if you have any questions. And thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time.